Okay, this 2017 Honda Accord that I only put roughly 50% of the charge in, I put 285 grams of YF refrigerant and it takes 475 grams of YF refrigerant. And unlike the other videos I took the other day where the low side was much higher, this one, as you can see, is 7.3 PSI and the high side is 70. Much different than the other ones, but yet still 50% of the charge. But still, 39 degrees out of the dash. That's the dash temperature right there, 39 degrees. Okay, that's with only 50% of the charge. So, anybody who was going to short on refrigerant and uh, going by one gauge only out of a can can easily get 39 degrees out of a dash. I have the inlet temperature coming in over there. And you can see my sensor set up in the dash right there. And that's only 50% of the charge. So let me put in the other 50% of the charge. Okay, we're at 335. Pressure went up, it's falling back down. Let's put in some more. We're at 375, still 39 degrees. Our low side came up to 17, bounced up to 24, 29, 31. Now this is the compressor doing its own thing all by itself, down to 26. Variable displacement, it changes the pressure on you. Do not try to charge by pressure, it's doing its own thing. Get a little more. 440. Okay, we're at 440. We're at 42 degrees. 23. Okay, you'll see now it's cycling and on and off. Even though this particular one is variable compressor, the variable displacement compressor on this one actually has a clutch that cycles in and out. Some of the variable displacement compressors do not have a cycling clutch that never disengages. It stays engaged 100% of the time, all the time. This one has one that actually kicks in, in and out. So we're watching our temperatures. And you can hear that clutch kicking in and out. Now to the 475, we have 445 in there. 465 475 I'm gonna stop right there 39 degrees half the charge or 100% of the charge exact same temperature and this is the problem with the sales and professional shops trying to use the little cans off of one gauge only and unlike the videos from yesterday what I did from half the charge they had cars that had constant run clutches that didn't disengage this one has one engaged so you really get the bounce around on top of that you get a cycling fan that's constantly going on and off on you never get a stable enough pressure to actually try to judge from on your temperatures on mild days and this is exactly why you don't try to fill by pressures or temperatures. All right guys, that's just a short one. I think for the next couple days, I'll do a bunch of these cars with 50% charge of different make, year makes and models, different compressor configurations, and you can see how easy it is to make a mistake charging the system if you're trying to go by dust dash temperatures or by pressures.